Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Natalie. Today, we show you how to find relevant articles for your research in the life and biomedical sciences using PubMed's Advanced Search Builder Tool. You'll learn how to find articles on a topic or by subject, access full text versions of articles, view your PubMed search history, including keywords, and use search filters to get the best results. First, make sure you're ready for off-campus access through VPN. This will give you full access to any articles in PubMed that UCLA Library subscribes to. For help setting up VPN or proxy, visit library.ucla.edu slash connect. Next, let's get started with our research by visiting the UCLA Library homepage at library.ucla.edu. Click on Databases and type in PubMed, then click on the PubMed link. When you arrive on the PubMed homepage, click on Advanced under the search bar. Now it's time to search. First, identify some keywords based on your topic or your research question. Try to be as specific as possible. For example, if you wanted to know more about non-pharmacological treatments for migraines, you might identify the keywords non-pharmacological, treatment, and migraine to get started with your search. You can then connect these keywords with the word and to conduct a search. This will make your search more specific and narrow by only showing you articles that contain all three of these terms. You can also broaden your search by identifying similar keywords or synonyms and connecting them with the word or. This will show you articles and resources that contain either of the terms. Let's try this in Advanced Search Builder. Connect the keywords non-pharmacological, treatment, and migraine using and by typing each one into the search box separately and selecting add with and from the dropdown. They'll appear in the query box. Once you've built your search, click the search button. You can see that this search yields 153 results. You can also use your search history to build new searches. This is helpful when you're experimenting with different keyword pairings to broaden, narrow, or refine your search. Click the three dots under Actions and select Add Query to include past keywords in your next search. As an example, we'll try to broaden this search by adding synonyms or similar terms to the query and connecting them with the word OR. You can also download your search history to replicate your search later. Now hit the search button. The results have increased to 280. Pro tip, you can sort your search results by best match or most recent, depending on what you need for your research. Keep the default display for best match if you like to find the most relevant articles. Select most recent to find the latest research. On the left side of the page, you can filter your search results by year, article type, and publication date. Click additional filters to select a specific article type, language, date, journal, or subject. Once you find an article, click on the title to learn more. Here, you'll find the abstract, similar articles, references, publication types, and mesh terms. At the top of the page, you'll also find the Full Text Links section. Click on the yellow UCE Links button to find a full text version of the article. This would take you to the UCE Links page, where you'll find links to the article under Get It Online From. If it turns out that UCLA Library doesn't currently have access to the article you need, just fill out an interlibrary loan request by clicking Request This from the Library, and a librarian will work to get you a copy from one of our library partners. If you still have questions, get immediate help 24-7 via chat by clicking on As a Librarian. We hope this introduction will help you get the most out of your PubMed research. And if you're looking for more support from the UCLA Library, we're here to help. Just visit library.ucla.edu slash questions.